This is a big one. CNN, SSRs gives Trump Electoral College landslide. Ooh, that's another big one. And we're going to talk about this here in a minute. Infighting continues with political veteran James Carville trashing Kamal's staff during a Zoom call. I cannot wait to get to this one. <laughs> James Carville just became my favorite Democrat. Check this out. <laughs> this is so funny. All right. Do you guys know James Carville? He was the uh, architect of the Bill Clinton campaign in 92 and created the famous political phrase, it's the economy, stupid. James Carville, old uh, shrivel face, Popeye. He kind of looks like Popeye, if you haven't seen him. This dude looks like he's had too many, too many sour... No, we got to see Carville as he is now. Yeah, he, he had too many, too many sour candies. And he just, he just, you know, you live on those too much. You, you suck too many lemons and your face does this. That's James Carville. It's the economy, stupid. <laughs> Anyways, he is, they love him. They, Democrats think he's the greatest thing ever because he got Bill Clinton eight years in office and he got a famous catchphrase. But he is freaking out right now because he knows Harris is blowing her chance to win this election. According to a source who was on Harris Walsh campaign training call attended by veteran campaign strategist James Carville, Carville went absolutely ballistic, yelling expletives at two young Democratic staffers, including Olivia Horehana, who works for the Colin Allred Seca. Have you seen this chick? I just... I just, you know, yeah, just, you know, we don't fat shame here, except for when you look like that. I mean, the only way this chick's an influencer is because she, you know, I mean, I think she ate his brother. I'm just saying. Anyways. Okay. But that chick, she's uh, somehow, she went from being like a 21 year old influencer on TikTok. And then she somehow becomes a Democrat staffer. That's who the Democrats are now hiring these days from that great talent pool of TikTok people. Her and Harry Stithon. And she's working for Colin Allred's Senate campaign. The fiery barrage of insults, including dumb fat blip, <laughs> directed at Uliana. Out of touch facts. I can't even say that word on YouTube. I'll get busted. Began when the young staffers presented Carver with some social media videos they've been working on to appeal to white male voters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> get put this together real quick, okay? The, de <laughs> the Democratic beta male soy boy staffers and Juliana were putting together videos <laughs> to appeal to white males to try to win their votes. And Carville sees it. <laughs> and he says, You have touch. This is not supposed to be happening on the Democratic side. There is supposed to be love and tolerance party. <laughs> and Carville's out there just <laughs> reading them for the beta males they are. I can't even imagine what these videos were. I mean, God, it's like the Tim Waltz ad where he's working on the cards. You guys see that? Don't you'll you'll you, you don't you'll you won't be able to keep your lunch in. But it's. <laughs> They don't know what being a, like what manly is. Okay, these people left their testosterone back in 1985. They 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 don't have any. It's gone. They they can't even pretend to be men. All their men wear skirts. <laughs> so they come up with videos for podcasts, trying to be all tough. And Carville sees and he says, "You." <laughs> Carville's done. He's like, this is unbelievable. He's just like, I can't, I can't, I can't anymore. And he's like trying to get them to win. This is so funny. You guys, I, you probably don't even get it, but I mean, some of you don't, I'm just saying, think about it in your head. Think about exactly what you think. <laughs> like these 21 year olds making these videos and Carville, I'm I'm sorry. I I read this and I I was I was dying. This is unbelievably funny, and this is what's going on in the Democrat campaign. Carville's freaking out because he knows they're blowing it because these people do not know how to talk to your average Joe. They do not know how to talk to regular people, and Carville does. But Carville's the past. 
He's celebrated. He's a hero. The old school Democrats love him. But but the Kamal campaign isn't hiring Carville. They're getting consultants on him, and he is freaking out because he's seeing like what the bleep are you guys doing? I just and I <laughs> I just love it. it's like. I, I'm guessing that Carville is not allowed on Facebook anymore you, with that language. You just can't, you can't say it. When <laughs> it gets better, when a visibly shaken Gail staffer told Carville he needed to apologize for using the F word, Carville told him to take his camel hat and shut up his ass. Uh, uh, Mr. Carville? Sir? Uh, we, we just appreciate if you don't use that F word, that's really insensitive. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Take no camo hat off and shove it up your ass. <laughs> oh my God. This is the funniest story of the campaign. I'm sorry. It's, this is the funniest thing ever. The joy is gone. <laughs> he just, Anyways, I'm sorry. I could do my whole show on this post tonight. I, I'm having just too much fun. This is just so funny. It's so funny. I just... Alright, anyways. I guess we'll talk about something serious now. <laughs> I just can't... Oh. Knowing... <laughs> knowing how... <laughs> how soyrific these people are. <laughs> <laughs> the Democratic side, these these kids that are the Kamala Joy, the Harry Sassons, and Julianas. Oh my God, they were just so offended at James Carville. <laughs> Anyways, that made my night. That made my night. So, oh, too funny, too funny. 